Hi everybody, I'm Stephen Allen Fox and I'm creating this conductor video series in hopes that people can get a little bit more insight to what a conductor is doing, why they're doing what they're doing. For the musician who plays in the orchestra or the band, hopefully this just gives you a little bit different perspective on the music and what it is that's happening in front of you. For future conductors, I hope that this is educational at some level, that it helps you in your journey towards becoming a conductor. Whether that be a professional conductor that's gonna work on concert stages around the world, or a teacher who works in the public school system. In my opinion, it doesn't matter what age you're working with, it doesn't matter where you're doing it. You need to have fundamental conducting abilities and philosophies to be able to lead any level of musician. So hopefully the professionals and the future teachers all get some uh, benefit from this. And for all of you who are audience members, uh, you know, I've had many of you come to me after concerts and say, what is it that you're doing up there? Well, hopefully this video series will help give a little bit insight into what it is that we're doing on that stage. What is this magic we're created, creating with our hands and our body language? So let's get started. So the place that we're going to start is what is the conductor doing? What is the job of the conductor? At a very basic level, I like to think that there are three main areas that the conducting job falls under. The first one is the most basic. It is we're showing the musicians where to start, where to stop, and how fast to play in between. That's the basic, most fundamental thing. Depending on the level of musician, what the music is, where it's being performed, a lot of that changes. But the reality is that's the most fundamental thing. When you have a group of musicians sitting together, they need to know when to all start, when to all stop, and how fast to move in between. There are other things that are added on top of that. There's the, the musicality, there's the how loud to play, and how soft to play, and how smooth, and how attacked, and everything. And that we will also talk about more as this video series moves along. But most fundamental level, when do they start, when do they stop, and how fast do they go? Every musician you work with needs something different. And two major factors that play a part of this, how old are they? How experienced are they? What is their ability? So if you're working with beginners, what they need from you as a conductor is very different than if you're working with highly experienced and educated professional musicians. And the conductor's job is to know going in, who are they working with? How old are they? What is their ability? What is their experience level? How difficult is the music? So what are they going to need from me? Am I working with a group of musicians that really just need to see the, the time and the speed? Or am I working with somebody where, where timing isn't going to be a factor at all? I'm going to show them way beyond that, the music, the musicality that they're creating. They need to have an understanding of who they're working with and recognize that the job of the conductor is not to pull everybody along. The job of the conductor is to lead them. Be the best leader you can be in providing those musicians what they need to be successful. They're bringing to the table uh, an interpretation of music that they're creating through uh, historical information, composer information, their own experiences and education, um, factors of what was the music written for, what was its purpose, and they're bringing all of this together to create an interpretation of what they think that music should sound like. But if you couple that with the other point that I made, that they need to give the musician what they need, well, uh, that means there's a relationship here. This isn't the old days where a conductor, it's my way or no way. The first bass, you are always late. You have no ears, no eyes, nothing at all. You are not a musician, you are not a ear. Ears, you are not ears, you, you. And no eyes. Look at me and follow me. We now live in a world where collaboration is very important. Teamwork is very important. And it, we, we've realized over the years that musicians are like the ultimate example of a great team when they create a great piece of music and the conductor should be a part of that team. So when they create their interpretation and they then come to the rehearsal or the performance to provide the musicians with what they need, they need to be willing to collaborate. They need to, to, to give the respect to the musicians that they deserve as the musicians who they are. Obviously, if you're working with beginners, 
what that beginner is bringing to the table is not the same as the professional. So you need to know who you're working with. But if you're working with that professional musician, realize that they're not just professional because they are uh, virtuoso or highly talented and educated on their instrument from a technical standpoint, but along the way they've learned music. They're musical. They are an artist. So what's gonna make the music even better is the collaboration of the interpretation. So for instance, if a conductor is going to have someone in the orchestra who is soloing or a featured soloist, it's wise for that conductor to have conversations or get together with those soloists to, to work out an interpretation that utilizes the best of both worlds. Something better is going to come out of that than just that one conductor putting their interpretation down. As you're working through rehearsal, be open-minded to where things go and you might realize the musicians are doing something you never would have expected. When you bring that interpretation, that includes thorough knowledge of that music. What's on that page and what does it take for these musicians to create the sound that becomes this piece of music? They need to have the understanding though, the knowledge of what it takes for them to do what they do and what that sound is going to be when they do it and how that connects with all of the other sounds being created at the same time to create the bigger sound that is that piece of music. And when they have that knowledge, then they can decide, how does this music start? Where is it going? Where is its peaks? Where are the valleys? How do we want it to end? And create that flow and that dramatic sense that becomes the interpretation and recognize it's collaborative with everybody on that stage that is performing at the same time. It's really a collaboration between the person or people who created the music, the performers, which includes the conductor, and then the audience and how they interpret it. Thank you for watching. For more great videos, subscribe to the Maestro Fox YouTube channel. To learn more about the Maestro, visit StephenAllenFox.com.